Tonight we are starting uh, with the Commitment 2024. It's bringing us several key storylines out of the New Hampshire primaries tonight because former President Donald Trump defeated former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. Yes, but she says that she is staying in the race. President Joe Biden wins a Democratic primary despite keeping his name off the ballot and doing no campaigning at all in the state. But here's the big takeaway as we look at tonight's results. With 52% of the votes that are in, Trump edges out Haley by around 10%. Western News political reporter Greg Fox is live in Manchester, New Hampshire tonight and Greg Haley is counting on an even bigger bounce in the weeks ahead. Well, and for good reason. I mean, you look at just a week ago, she loses by 30 and comes in third to Trump. And then this past weekend, uh, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, drops out. So it's really a two-person race. And tonight, as you say, it's fairly close, about 10 points separating them. And she's still got her home state to go. So uh, again, Haley's momentum, as we take a look at this video from just a short while ago, heading into New Hampshire, may have been helped by Florida's governor uh, getting out of the race on Sunday. She and the groups backing her campaign spent $31 million on TV ads in the Granite State, more than Trump and the other candidates. But Trump consistently led in the polls, and while the victory was not as great as the margin predicted by many of the pollsters, he gets his second consecutive win following Iowa and pockets more delegates along the way to the GOP nomination. We've won almost every single poll in the last three months against crooked Joe Biden. Almost every poll. And she doesn't win those polls. And she doesn't win those. This is not your typical victory speech, but let's not have somebody take a victory when she had a very bad night. At one point in this campaign, there were 14 of us running. And we were at 2% in the polls. Well, I'm a fighter. And I'm scrappy. And now we're the last one standing next to Donald Trump. Trump holds a wide lead in both Nevada and South Carolina. The next two presidential contests, Haley is expected to focus almost entirely in South Carolina in the coming weeks with that primary coming up on February 24th. Of course, on the Democratic side, President Joe Biden uh, collects a win that he wasn't even trying for. He was the write-in candidate uh, preferred by uh, most of the Democrats uh, voting in New Hampshire. Uh, of course, he and the Democratic National Committee electing to stay off the New Hampshire ballot over a dispute because President Biden wanted to have South Carolina to be the first primary. Live in Manchester, New Hampshire, Greg Fox, Washington News.